Hi, this is Jason with RPC Electronics. In this video, I'm going to do an overview of a new product that we're working on called the Tiny Track 4 controller. For those who aren't familiar with the Tiny Track 4, the Tiny Track 4 is an APRS tracker developed by Bionics. It's also a, uh, it can be a KISS modem, it can be a weather station, there's multiple different firmwares it can be flashed with to make it uh, multiple different APRS devices. In addition to doing those things, a 4x20 four, four LCD and a keyboard can actually be connected to the device, just like this, this LCD right here. It can be connected to it and for displaying of uh, various APRS information, and the keyboard can be connected to it as well to control it. And that's essentially what the Time Track 4 controller is. It's a minimalist keyboard. The Time Track 4 controller is built on a PIC 18F252, and what it's essentially doing is emulating a PS2 keyboard. But in this case, we have minimal, minimalized the amount of buttons or the number of buttons down to some of the basic functions. When the keyboard, when the full-blown keyboard is plugged into the Time Track 4. Uh, the F keys are used for changing the paging or the screens that are seen on the LCD. At this current time, F, F1 through F6 has been impl implemented in the firmware. We've actually gone as far as to put F7 and F8 as well, because we can see some future uh, uses for that, including like a Beacon Now feature, for example, or maybe some kind of quick recall of certain information, like GPS information, for example. But as you can see here, as I press these buttons, the display changes to the different pages. When I get the 7 and 8, nothing happens, obviously. We also have an escape button, an enter button, a page up, and a page down. Well, these are actually just the arrow up and the arrow down. And I can demonstrate that by going to the send message and hit enter, and hit enter again, and now it's just created a message. If I go back, and do that again a couple more times. You'll see that our pending message screen has now filled up with four pending messages. If I click up and down with the up and down arrow, you can see the cursor will actually select or or highlight the uh, the particular line. If I want to, for example, look at this message, I just hit enter, and it goes to the pending message now. Obviously, there's no text here, and that's one thing that we have uh, not implemented here because we're going for a minimalist approach with a small size device, so there's no full-blown keyboard here. The hope is is that eventually in firmware, we're working very closely with Bionics, with Bion at Bionics, to hopefully add in a feature where um, either the last herd station or maybe the last few herd stations are stored and you'll be able to recall those through through the message uh, through the up and down arrows, possibly with F7 or F8, for example. And there will be some stored CAN messages in memory that you can use to recall from. So you won't be able to edit those on the fly, but you will have a a list of standardized kind of of messages that you can use to respond with. I kind of view this system as more of a receive and possibly respond with a basic answer, not necessarily holding on a conversation. So that's a, that's a basic overview of, of what we've got going here. Um, hopefully there's going to be some interest in this, and if there is, uh, we're definitely going to be looking at producing them in the, uh, the next few months. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.